Hunter Biden said the N word. Ooh, let's, let's go to Hunter Biden. Let's go, dude. Hogwatch is on the menu, boys. Let's get started. Hunter Biden, uh, and this is like. It is important. It shouldn't be a. Should it be a national story? Not necessarily. The story here is that nobody cares on the left. Whereas, remember, right. there were rumors once upon a time that maybe Donald Trump had said the. Oh, wow. I didn't realize that Hunter Biden was the president of the United States of America. Pretty sick, dude. Crack is now legal. Legalized crack cocaine. Hunter Biden is president. We have made crack legal and the supplement of uh, esports leagues and uh, of just the every single league out there every single professional sport so that's a really stupid one-to-one -one comparison that he started off with isn't crack legal in oregon decriminalized but yes n-word right oh, in of one course. of the uh, apprentice outtakes right, yeah that may be the reason that bezos tr tried to get the rights to the rushes to the footage yeah so um this is why it matters because there are rules for thee and not for me exactly. to be clear i do not think that hunter Biden. oh so the argument is that like uh uh, liberals are hypocrites because like they're not upset about hunter biden even though he personally admitted that like i don't even know why this is a f uh, mainstream news story like that's kind of dumb that it's a mainstream news story nor joe biden I, do we all agree i don't think either of them are racists i think they've accidentally uh, i mean i, th I think they're racist, racist and that they, they think they probably think that black they're the white savior racists right but i don't yeah, think they yeah, hate yeah. black i people. think they're classists yes very absolutely good. what these mother don't think Joe Biden, who literally worked with white supremacists and spoke of them fondly, is racist. Joe Biden, who is literally personally f responsible, perhaps more than most other f active congresspersons, with the incarceration of black people in the United States of America, the architecture of the crime bill, the, the guy who literally fucking said how proud he was for also being the architect of the Patriot Act, that guy's not fucking racist. That's wild, dude. Absolutely. They're absolutely classist. But in other words, I don't think that Hunter Biden said the N-word in a racist connotation. No, no, yeah. no, not no, no, I think, yeah. It he was, was just, joking around. Okay, so yeah, Hunter Biden yeah. yesterday, this is only in the Daily Mail. I have not seen it front and center at these other websites. Uh, it was discovered that he said the N-word multiple times in texts to yeah. his white lawyer, George Messiers. Do I have that right? Uh. I don't know because I haven't heard it pronounced anywhere because no one's covered it. George, not a soul. So, uh, you know what, actually, because I can't do this, uh, read, uh, can you do me a favor and read the original text here? Yeah, yeah, Black yeah, no but first, uh, but show them the picture of your, yeah, your give me, uh, yeah, I'm gonna father get wallet, wallet here, or, because uh, a lot of people question here. your racial authenticity, yeah, which in itself is racist. want to put a little bit of twang on that yeah, okay. yeah, here yeah, it is. This is my dad. He's melanated. It's confirmed. That is my dad. It is confirmed. Okay, here we go. They had a TV show and everything. Okay, so the text. Bro, this guy's not going to say the word right now is he no shot quarter black garrett reads hunter biden text messages verbatim what the fuck dude he's half black no i don't think he is text uh read from hunter biden to his lawyer yes he is he is a crackhead by the way so th these are <laughs> yes. these are more than likely yeah, a, crack infused also tweets, crack her uh, are <laughs> the worst kind of person to use the n-word really yeah. okay. <laughs> Chad says, watch me watch me say the n-word gone sexual <laughs> So, crack oh, or and, crackhead. Uh, and uh, Dave, could you help me out in this? I'd be Maybe, happy uh, to. Well, these, these, yeah, the these, are the, these are the yeah the original ones that the, people may the not actual ones. These okay. are also yeah. all sent from a cricket phone. Is that correct? Here yeah. we go. First one. Nigga, you better not be charging me Hennessy rates. Oh, I didn't know well, that's, when we were that's, on. That's, no, no, this is these are the actual. Well, that's text. the yeah. actual text. That's the wait. These guys are saying that's racist, but like he literally does like minstrel shit. Like Steve Crowder thinks be, saying like, "Oh, use a job turkey" and shit like that is like the peak of comedy when talking about Barack Obama. He literally does like actual minstrel shit. He said he didn't say it in a racist way at the start. No, but he's he's talking about like uh uh, uh the. the <laughs> This is insane, dude. He's <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Oh my god, dude. The, yeah, the black farmer shit. You guys remember when he was like, oh yeah, black farmers, like we are drinking Hennessy. Like he's talking about Hennessy trees, dude. Uh, you can well, look on the map right the there. That's the first one. We'll get to the- Oh, oh. you know, I'll read the other ones then. That's not, uh, I didn't get those ones. Okay. Oh, okay. Do you have the actual, do you have the full text here? I've got the full text here. Do you have the lawyer responding? I've got the lawyer responding All right, read, well. read, read all of it then. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. OMG, nigga. Bro, I just got to say something. If you find yourself in a situation where you have to show a picture of your fucking dad to be able to say the N-word, then you probably, it's like probably not great to say it. You know what I mean? I just, I had to, I had to stop for a second to just mention that because it's like, I mean, I don't know, man. It's like kind of weird to just like uh, do that on a, on a public broadcast. 
especially a reactionary public broadcast. You can't say that, big boy. Really? That's a that that's a that's your take. I mean, maybe maybe people are gonna say like maybe people are gonna say I'm fucking wrong and he is actually black. I don't even know if his father is actually half black or not. But maybe people will say like, oh, it's none of your business. Like, you know, get your get your wife self, uh, white self out of uh, black people's business or whatever. But I don't know, dude. I mean, this dude is like the most white passing motherfucker. It's like me saying I'm brown. You know what I mean? I'm not. I'm fucking white pass. I'm so white passing that it's like, I mean, he's white. Like, I don't even. I mean, he's white. We don't go by the one drop rule anymore, baby. You good? <laughs> yeah, like literally. People keep saying logic. Dude, logic looks more black than this guy, okay? And also, everybody knows that he's biracial, okay? He's logic. He's biracial. Does logic say the N-word, actually? I don't even know. This is like Elizabeth Warren being like, I'm Native American, dude. Like, so I should get the benefits. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, this is like when when uh, you're 22 and me comes back and it says like you're 3% African or something. And you're like, all right, well... Did you just fictional? They, these are crack infused. Okay. Yeah. They, they Did you to, just yeah. fictional character from the imagination of the collective frightened, and my dead brother's unconditional love is what I should rely on, and my kids aren't children, George. That, the most uh, offensive, that is confusing. The most offensive uh, part of, of this is the sentence structure, and that someone unknowingly would read this and assume that it's a black person writing it. it uh, and it's definitely not. It's ne no. It's it's, it's a white not. person perpetuating a negative no. stereotype. You yeah. you'd see it. You say, "Oh, this is the N word." Of course, they're black. This is horrible. We need a better. We need better educational systems in inner cities. No, it's a white guy who's smoking parm or yeah. a so or a soft gouda. This next on one's the... this next one's <laughs> well, not too bad. That's funny though. That's that's he's, he's trying to act like he's sober. Right. He's like, "It's <laughs> unconditional not. love. I found God." <laughs> okay, I don't think you have. Yeah. Uh, next one's not <laughs> too bad. He just says nice true dat. Yeah. yeah. What? Uh, oh, and he also says nigga. So true dat nigga yeah. at the end. Yep. That, oh, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. Hunter. That's this Hunter is all Hunter that. Biden. I know this uh, lawyer is like $800 an hour and it's still not worth it. <laughs> what the next one here? Uh, the one says, there is zero, from Hunter's lawyer, there is zero Hunter's coverage lawyer, yeah. or pickup of this story. Zip, I believe, talking about that. I mean, look, this is not my business because I am not only like, white as fuck but also on top of that like not even fully fucking american like i grew up in turkey far away from uh black culture so my understanding is like mostly the framework of media but my metric for like i was thinking about this just now so trigger warning white guy talking about uh, the n-word but my metric for it is like if you can be at a clan rally and take your robe off and not have anybody be like oh what the fuck you're out of place here brother then you shouldn't be able to say the n-word i think that's fair right like, is that not fair? Like, it's the it's the clan rally take. If you can go to a clan rally, and this motherfucker could go to a clan rally, and not a single person would be like, you're out of place, boy. You know what I mean? I feel like even with logic, if he was at a clan rally, they'd be like, wait a minute, you look kind of different. You look kind of different, boy. What's going on there? But like, this dude is just like, like he would fit in. They'd be like, hell yeah, that's Garrett. That's our favorite. Homie even awkwardly hesitates when saying the N-word, put him in a room full of uh, brothers and see how well the that picture of his dad works out for him. I mean, I feel like actually nowadays, I don't even fucking know. Okay. I don't know. Kind of yikes saying boy in that Southern twang. Why? If he's a quarter black, probably implying some of his black ancestors were enslaved. He can't say the N word because he looks white. See, that's why I said, that's why I fucking said it, dude. That's why I said it. I know for a fact people are going to get mad at this. This is like inter-community, intra-community discourse. Even when black people are ha feeling some type of way about this and have different points of view on this, like I, it's everyone's going to get mad at me, a person who is very clearly white, uh, having this uh, kind of take. Laptop. Yeah. Uh, to which Hunter replied, wow, thank you, Michael Cohen. And then uh, <laughs> other texts here. Other uh, texts have read, I'm sorry for sexing you accidentally. That was meant for another friend named Georgia. Georgia. <laughs> uh, he my also is. says, my penis of late has been unconditional. Hmm. Whatever that means. And then uh, it's a big penis, George. I only love you because you're black. Yeah, which is look. Well, I guess that's sort of reverse that's, racism. It's weird. Yeah, it's love, right? Yeah, it's love. So we can give them the benefit. It's love. It throws you off with the repeated use of the N word, I guess. But yeah. uh, hey, you know what they say with this? Obviously, I want to yeah. be clear. Uh, it's not his fault. Like father, like son. Out of a liberal instinct for love, brother, and humanity. Although I think that's a good instinct. But for simple, pragmatic reasons, if we don't... I'm about you don't tell POC what they should or shouldn't say. The moment that you say that this dude is a person of color is the moment that you admit I'm a person of color. You, you recognize that, right? So you, in turn, are literally criticizing a person of color for person of color business. How about that? Fucking reverse uno, baby. Let's go. You just activated my trap card, bitch. There you go. That, that's it. They will. 
or a portion of them will become the predators 15 years from now. What? You're literally POC? Bro, yeah, a person of fucking uh, Caucasian-ness, okay? Dude, I I'm sorry, dude. My name is Hassan. I'm Muslim. I'm Middle Eastern. Like, I don't, I look like spicy white, sure. But like, I can't fucking claim ownership of this. Okay, it's ridiculous. Like, if, oh man, I'm POC. Like, it sounds so stupid when I say it, dude. It just sounds so dumb. I don't know why people always fucking say this shit. Like, have I been discriminated against? Certainly, but only after uh, people figure out what my background is or rather if they never see what I look like and only know my name from a fucking resume or some shit. So I, it's crazy. It's like, I'm super fucking white passing, dude. It's crazy. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. What? Uh, bro. You not go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. It's a point. Am I, I'm not joking. I mean, you got the first sort of mainstream. Yeah, I, this is so weird. Like, they're doing a Joe Biden is racist compilation when they're like, they literally just said he's not racist in the beginning of the fucking video. But they themselves, like, make way worse jokes all the time. African American? Yeah. Who is articulate and bright and, and, and clean and nice looking guy. I'm just so mad is uh, incorrect. Nice Uncle Phil. Girl. Uncle Phil, bitch. Right? He's not By the far. Yeah, come on. By far. By far. I love how he follows it up. Wait, did they bleep out bitch? But like then got a white dude to say the N-word and they didn't bleep that part out. I'm losing my mind right now a little bit. What's happening? The rights to act for like 12, 14 hours. And you're still sticking a landing with the N-word. The point is, like father, like son, Joe Biden, take him at his word. He's not joking. I still don't think that they should be canceled for racism as much as the, you know, pedophilia. I'm telling you, we are being memed. They want you to be commenting on the fact that they're leaning into the one-fourth black stuff. Quarter black, get it right. I don't know if that's real or not. I, I feel like, I don't know if that's real or not. I mean, you can fucking cancel me all you want to be like, oh, dude, Hassan is like questioning the blackness of someone who's a quarterback. But like, bro, you don't look black. Like you, you, you take all the benefits of, of uh, being a white person. Like you have the privilege. Like that's crazy. That's crazy to me. I'm sorry. You literally have all the privilege. That's wild. And you're so privileged that you decided to like literally become a conservative too on top of that, which by the way is like, you know, it's like me saying I'm fucking brown. Like, wait, what is this? Smuggler is coming over towards us. I'm just gonna take a moment and ask him a few questions. Hola, come us. More, more los magras via Andra. Si. Habla inglés? No. Cuántos te pagan cruzar los migrantes? I love this, dude. It's fucking great, dude. Don't ask all the biblioteca, my friend. Nah. Que le dice a la Presidente Biden? Okay. Well, Neil, he's not saying anything about how much he's getting paid or if he has a message for President Biden, but he does say that more people are coming. Not entirely sure why. The Wait, how does he know this guy's a smuggler? The smuggler is sitting in the middle this of the- motherfucker can't even speak Spanish. Like, what What the fuck? Why is he just like forever here? We're going to continue to monitor it and bring it to you as we get it, Neil. This random brown man is probably a smuggler. Not even probably. Definitely a smuggler. Here's an anti-vaccine nurse in Ohio. Ohio. Trying to prove that uh, vaccines cause magnetism in a state legislative committee. The demonstration, of course, did not go according to plan, unfortunately. Let's take a look at what Ohio is doing uh, right now. Yes, vaccines do harm people. By the way, so I just found out something when I was on lunch, and I wanted to show it to you. We were talking about Dr. Tenpenny's testimony about magnetic vaccine crystals. So this is what I found out. So I have a key and a bobby pin here. Bro, what is happening? Like, can you get a doctorate in, like, I don't know, Toilet University? Like, how are there so many fucking crank doctors out there? I know, like, listen... As a doctor, you can still be a fucking dumbass, right? Like, I know plenty of dumbass doctors. I mean, I went to school with some of these dumbasses who are now doctors, and I'm like, how the fuck is this person, like, literally saving lives, okay? But none of them are, like, dumbasses in, in the, in the uh, at least on the medical side of things, you know what I mean? It, like, no, she's a nurse, but she's talking about Dr. Tenpenny, who is a, like, actual fucking doctor. Nurses can be dumbasses. I know a lot of fucking dumbass nurses. That makes sense, because that's, like, undergrad, you know, like, whatever. 
But like the doctor shit, it blows my mind. You really studied for that fucking long, spent that much money to just be an absolute dingus, dude? Really? Nurses are some of the worst people I've ever met as a group. Shut up. Don't say that. Bro, they literally clean shit for a living, dude. Are you kidding me? Like, get the fuck out of here. You can't shit on nurses, dude. I mean, some of them are actual hogs, though, which sucks. But what are you going to do? All right, let's watch this. Explain to me why the key sticks to me. <laughs> what? It's falling, though. It sticks to my neck, too. I got this. Yeah, so if somebody can explain this, that would be great. That's great. Any questions? Any questions? Yes. Why is it not sticking to your neck? Is the magnetism only in your titty area? Two, have you ever heard of, uh, I don't know, sweating and, and how sticky your skin might get as a consequence of that sweating? Lastly, when is the last time you showered? These are questions I need to know. And finally, like, like these are such weird ways to disparage uh, or these are such weird ways to just like get people riled the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? It's like, ha ha, actually, uh, there's a magnet in this thing. It's like, why? Just, just say it made you gay like everyone else. I don't understand why people have to go to like lengths that they have to prove. It doesn't make any sense. Like, because like you can't prove the magnet shit. It not, it's not like replicable, but sexuality is fluid. So you could just easily be like, yeah, it made me gay. There's a lot of fucking repressed uh, gays out there that uh, don't know that they're gay or don't want to fucking believe that they're gay. So they're going to be like, oh my God, the vaccine made me gay. Like I, I had that too. Maybe, just maybe they can even fucking come out. You know what I'm saying? They just like feel comfortable now to, to come out or something. Anyway, dude, my doctor recommended against me taking the COVID vaccine because apparently we're guinea pigs. What the fuck is Florida on? Dude, it's Florida, dude. You're, I, I don't even know if your doctor is real. Okay, Florida is not a real place place i've been telling this to will this entire weekend and he kept laughing at me like i'm making this up i don't think it's any coincidence that the true news crew all got deathly ill got very sick um right after they had uh they brought milo onto their show and he showed uh he shared right. his testimony you best, you best explain um, what you mean remember, by that i don't know like, where this is going yeah <laughs> we have to remember that this is a spiritual battle as well and our enemy retaliates. What this is, I believe, in my opinion, is that this was retaliation. Um, you know, we constantly battle uh, demonic spirits, demonic attacks um, on ourselves, and we as Christians must stay equipped, um, but also we must continue to stay prayerful um, as, you know, we walk into these times where the enemy, it seems like... Bro, this is like, this is like when you're a Zack Schneider fan, but like actually believe that, you know, the DC and Marvel Cinematic Universes are like real. I mean, these people live in kind of a cool state of being. Think about it. They live in kind of a cool state of existence. And what I mean by that is Snyder, not Schneider. Okay, whatever. Shut up. Uh, I'm Turkish. What I mean by that is like, dude, they literally think like the universe is operating in this like mystical way. I mean, that's kind of cool. At a certain point, you got to be like, like there's spirits, there's demons. They're fighting like this massive battle all the time against like fucking demons. Like it's like a kid. They were able to maintain their childlike uh, wonderment. And now they still live in that uh, world. Now, we all do this in different ways. That's why I mentioned the MCU shit. And I'm not saying this for, like, all religious people. It's like, I don't think that every Christian believes that, like, fucking the Easter Bunny is real or Santa Claus is a real person, right? There's a difference between what this is and, like, what the normie religious person is who's like, I think God is a, a real thing and I will pray to it, okay? So don't fucking make it seem like I am, uh, you know, saying that, like, all religious people are believing in, like, sky god people, blah, blah, blah. You're straw-manded. Those aren't in the Bible. Okay, but like most fucking, most Christian people aren't like literalist about the Bible, dude. Every Christian isn't a fucking Baptist automatically. So shut the fuck up. That's the point. It's like he has the upper hand, but it was no coincidence that Rick um, and his crew are in the situation that they're in because uh, they stood for Christ and had, uh, you know, the spine to bring uh, Milo on and share his platform and his testimony. Milo was somebody who belonged to the darkness. He was already Satan. Satan's, he was Satan's favorite sodomite, wasn't he? And... Wow. He was Satan's favorite sodomite. Probably. We took pro him back. Probably Christ because, took uh, him back. He likes music and good jokes. Uh, Christians are literally the most insane people on the planet. At least Islamophobia exists. People actually trust these psychos. Milo is straight now, by the way. 
Like, how are you straight, motherfucker? You still got, you're rocking a mullet and like a salmon pink suit that's like tailored to your body. Y you're not. There's no shot. Marlo's new grift is that he's like straight and Christianity healed him from his homosexuality. She all, uh, he also like recently was talking about how dogs don't bark at him anymore or some shit because he's no longer gay. I don't fucking know. The aftermath of the Logan Paul Floyd Mayweather fight by JRE. And then we got JCS. <laughs> The Joe Rogan experience. The guy's brilliant in a lot of ways. He's tapped into something that human beings want yeah. and want to see. But this is boring. Oh my God. Now that we briefly mentioned 